Hello and welcome to Craze Gaming Presents War of the Chosen. Um, now I have done an introductory video, it might be worth giving that a watch before watching this because it goes through a lot of the mods that I'm going to have in this run through, introduce the character pool a little bit um, and it just goes through you know, you know, a little bit about what you can expect to see as, uh, as we progress through the season. Now I'm going to be doing Legend Difficulty, Reduce Beginner Voiceover obviously. Uh, we're going to do all dark events are permanent and not created equal. Uh, just to give a bit of randomness and the, the, the permanent dark events just give a little bit more of a dynamic to the game whereby you have to think about what you actually want to counter rather than what you want to, uh, want you, what you want to receive and the type of mission that you want to avoid so it makes things a bit harder. Now I'm going to be doing this without Iron Man, uh, there are a lot of the mods involved uh, sometimes the game crashes and uh, if that happens on Iron Man that could be a complete game breaker. However, I'll, put, uh, you know, I'll make a promise now, all decisions are final, no saves coming it. Uh, it's what, you know, it's what is called as an honest man's run. Now, Lost and Abandoned is going to be enabled. It is a great uh, mission as far as I'm concerned that in, you know, introduces two new classes and the Chosen in a really good way and the Lost as well, funny enough. Uh, and I'm also going to be keeping on uh, the other two uh, DLC. I don't actually like the way that um, the the new War of the Chosen expansion integrates the other two. Uh, I think it's a lot better it, as it was. The missions themselves were great, uh, and I think they should stay that way. Um, so yeah, I will see you after the cinematics and uh, enjoy. Well, I'm looking forward to this season. Let's get going. Go. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider. This is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. It's advertised. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So... You do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here... yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Yeah, indeed. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris 
thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. I do love what they've done to Central. He looks great. After 20 years, they really, they really made him look very good. It's a shame you can't do the um, the tutorial mission because that had a bit of story plot that this doesn't have. It would have been nice to have played that on Legendary. 60 seconds. Meet the team. Uh, have a look at our first four players, some of the stats, have a look at what we've got to deal with. Um, yeah, let's see who we got. Now, uh, a couple of other mods I've got on here World War Lost, which I'll introduce you to later. I, I, I'm actually having a bit of an issue with that one, I, it might not work. It, it dresses up all the Lost in very fancy gears. I've also got Commander's Choice, which allows me to, to select the classes I want characters to be. And the reason for it, if you've got, for example, Deadshot from the Arrow universe, you don't want him anything other than a sniper. If you've got Jason Voorhees, you know, you want him as a ranger, so he's got a big sword to hack people up with, that kind of thing. So, right, who we got? Aquaman. I don't think that's John Jones. I've also got a mod that changes the Sky Ranger, actually. I'll do that a little bit later. Okay, I think we've got... Ooh. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we've got Chris Redfield. Not great aim. Nice health, nice movement. Uh, you know, decent will. That's fine. We've got Aquaman. Terrible aim. Terrible health. Great movement speed. And he's got some decent... Uh, uh, he's got a lot of good... Decent will, actually. Mm, don't know. And, ah, uh, oh, Killer Croc Jones. Okay, so he's got terrible health as well, terrible aim, great movement speed, and great um, uh, great will and hacking. And Bruce Groovy Campbell, welcome aboard. You've got decent health, decent aim. Uh, well, actually, not great aim, but it's not terrible either. And you've got a lot of decent hacking. But you've got to give him a shotgun, really, haven't you? So, you know. Okay, so what have we got? We've got Speaker's Corner. Oh, not my favourite, but hell, we'll work with it. Right, let's get everyone moving up. Affirmative. No need to be gentle with this bit. I'm really pleased about Bruce Gamble, actually. I've been waiting for him to come around. Oh, are they going to go downstairs? Yeah. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent okay, forces so let's get them now. With. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay. Headed there now. Let's move everybody up. Oh, that was a misclick. Oh well. Um, Killer Clock to move in there, and Bruce Lambert can come in. Um, can you get a grenade in? 
Oh, just about. I don't think it'll do all three, though. Alright, do you know what? I'm going to wait and we can all go up to the high ground. I do this is high ground here for them, I suppose. Might be better. Alright, let's get a grenade in there. Um, well, let's actually move you in somewhere. Okay, so... Yeah, that's much better. 80's there. 90's there. 90's there. Now, can you get a grenade in? Ah, oh, yes, you can. Okay. Right, so... This should go... Hopefully, let us see if we can get one at least one kill. Come on, you can do it. Killer cock, go on. You show boss boss. Oh, we got two kills. Oh, well, that just makes things easier. I don't think this ever happened to me before. Go on, Bruce. Yeah, good boy. All right, good. Good start. Good start. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to get a couple of them up to the high ground. Stepping off. Got it. Okay. And we'll... Chris and Bruce, our two main boys. Yeah, Chris, uh, sorry, Bruce, you're definitely going to be a ranger. And Chris. Heading out. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yeah, I don't know about Chris yet. Maybe the trooper. Or infantry is what it's actually called. Okay, so we're all. Over what you two. Whatever you Bruce, say. we'll move up a bit. Covering now. Covering okay. Covering now. I think I heard something. If you can get to the objective without being spotted, they usually come to you, but it's unusual. On overwalk, got it covered. Seems doable. Come get got some. Movement. Alright, so we're probably going to get the sectoid first. Yeah. Oh, the officer. Oh, goody. Give me. Ah, Bruce, you let me down. Enemy is still up. Watch the flanks. They're moving. Are they going to run away or towards? Oh, we've got one. Are they going to get close enough for the other guys to have a shot? No. Alright, so... Uh, Chris. See, if I go here, I might trigger the other group. I don't really want to do that. So we'll move you into the full cover there. Um, Come and get some. Overwatch Come these two. No problem, boss. What you got? 46? Yeah, no. Yeah, let's do that. Good. So we've got the three, but he has to move. Ah, I missed. That is not good. Okay. Ah, good, good, good. In the face. Good. Can Bruce survive a shot? Yeah, brilliant. Good, fire. okay. Oh. They bear Damn. Some to the oh, we've got an Advent Heavy. One lot of armor. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of new enemies uh, in this run through. Including a whole bunch of new sectoids. Um, okay, so you've got the full cover there, and I'm wondering if we can... Right, 65. Brilliant. Good for you. Uh, Killer Croc can't really see anything. Can we get a grenade in there? Yep. So the captain's dead. Or the officer's dead, rather. 
Good. Now we've only got Overwatch these two. Yeah, do what you like because I've got you flanked next time. Um, yeah, Bruce, throw that off. Sixty-two and sixty-four. No choice, really. Yeah, big whiff. Oh, good crit. Okay, so we've got the four. Now we've just got a survivor shot from him. We can survive a shot from Chris Redfield. We'll be in business. His aim's terrible anyway. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Brilliant. Is that all you got? Nope. Right, so grenade in. Heads down. Right, get rid of the cover and then we've got two shots. We're doing them well. We're doing very well. 68. Considering you whiffed the last one, you owed me that one, you little git. Okay. 78. Brilliant. And we get the loot too. Good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect mission. Brilliant. Got a bit lucky, admittedly, but yeah, I think we did really well. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating. I don't like that mission whatsoever. I prefer the statue, but that'll do. Okay, one of the lost appeared in the battle. Uh, please help us. We need a cure. We need. And then goes back to being a zombie. Leaves his pack, and we get one Illyrian core. Brilliant. Okay, so Bruce Campbell, MVP. Uh, actually. Yeah, that do. Okay, so next. Chris. Oops. Looks like he's taking a dump. Brilliant. And Rookie Jones. Perfect. Yeah, so good mission. Um, I always find the first missions the hardest mission there is. You've got no skills, a couple of grenades, and the, the most basic of weapons against two groups of three, a captain, and a sectoid. So to get away with perfect for that mission is is hard. There's no two ways about it. It just really is very hard. 20 years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom and we shall overcome this crisis. Who I like to call the uh, BBC broadcaster or CNN for you Americans. Oh, the rubbish. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our... Four plan. kills for C Campbell. Aquaman needs to start pulling his weight. All right. Which is no surprise. You know, he's at least staying true to his form. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look. So, Bruce Campbell instantly... 
Ranger. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. He's moved from deadites to aliens. Okay. So, next, Chris Redfield. Well, do you know what? You can be... I'm actually quite tempted to put you as a spec ops or specialist, but I think you'd be better suited as infantry. You get two shots, light them up, and fire pistol. So yeah, you know, soldiery type class, which is what you are. So that's fine. Um, Aquaman. Your health is awful. Mobility is pretty good. Your aim is pretty bad, but you've got a lot of decent will, and you're a superhero typey person. What exactly did you do before All right. At one time, let's put you as a psionic. So we get stasis and soul fire. Because of my background, Good. I was okay. Up by uh, and and killer croc. Lots of movement, not much health, not much aim. For better or worse. I'd say we're lucky to have you. And a bad us. guy that's very tall, very heavy. Grenadier. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Good. Yeah, I think that's a good match. Quite happy with that. Good. All right. Um, now, so there's the first four. Who else we've got? We've got Calvin Stevens. He's a. Uh, I don't know what it is. This bottom one always ends up being a uh, a non character pool kind of person, regardless of what I do. So I will be changing him to one of the character pool later on. We've got John. Pertwee, the third of the Doctors, my own creation. I did all of them. Need to put the new one in, I might add. Cabal from Mortal Kombat. Looks good. Predator. Yep, he looks badass. I can't wait to take him out. Yep, Deadshot. You're uh, definitely going to be my... Uh, look. What's this? Yeah, his aim isn't brilliant. John Crichton. Oh, he needs fixing. Um, from Farscape, my favourite show ever in the world. We've got Blaine, definitely a grenadier, from uh, The Predator. Ah, that's cool, we've got Predator and the guy that kills him. Okay, or the guy that he killed, rather. Now, Black Mask, from the DC Universe, I think. Yep, DC Comics, Batman Universe. And Earbud Thorn, from, uh, from DC as well. So we've got a lot of DC. We've got a lot of DC. Because Killer Croc's from DC, isn't he? Sure is. Oh, Killer Croc Jones. When is convicted felon of seven time for multiple homicide initial let's come attack? Oh. Okay. Maybe he's from the first game then. Dunno. Alright, never mind. But here he is. Killer Croc. I'm sure that's a Spider Man. Oh that's no, Doctor Croc. Okay, dunno. I'm sure it's the Batman universe, though. Anyway. Commander to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. Put Only your hand the in it. The same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out, which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. I'll get right on it. 
Yeah, and again, because of, you know, we're not able to see the uh, first mission, um, uh, the, uh, the tutorial, which uh, has a lot of the initial storyline in it. I really do miss playing it. Okay, so we've got modular weapons first. That area of now, some of the other mods that we've got involved, we've got uh, the we'll open engineering slots here. I'll send word when a complete In the living quarters, we can Hello, make Commander. any bond Work we like, well but I don't use it. But so. it will be some time yet before my research is complete. For most now, of our soldiers, the living quarters on store. the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, yep. Commander. And we've got we the bar. engineers to clear up space for construction first. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Yeah. This is the voice and you of get the resistance, resistance radio here. Spreading the truth about what's I really love that. It really is good. There. So yeah, we can put to it to recover will faster in here. Um, what would have you believe. Humanity isn't going down without now, let's fight. customize the Sky Ranger. There's one that I typically typically tend to use. Um, that's better. And nice red, nice red nose. Yeah, that'll do. Good. Okay. Engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander. Yep, my jet. Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. I want that 3D printer. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. I'm sure. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. You too, love. You too. Okay, so what can we buy? You'd be surprised um, how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. Flash grenades. We'll take one of those out. We need in no right time. now, these cinema, the the voiceover bits bug out here for some bizarre reason. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything: government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Okay. Ah, uh, good. We're in America. We don't have the four areas of Asia to deal with. We can get uh, continent bonus quite easy. And again, yeah, the voiceovers are bugged out, so you've got to come back out, go in... Right, so rookies. Oh, never run out of rookies. Good, okay. Okay, we got modular weapons in four. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known okay. as the Reapers. Now all these, these will play like at to once. Keep a very low okay, so we've got modular weapons that's finished. We, we haven't got anything back. to put in them yet, but it's why it's getting early. It might be worthwhile to scan the area for oh, additional weapons, supplies nice. and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts oh, well, that'd be nice. us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, so, okay. the Avengers so remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. Alien biotech. It's going to take some time, though. 
we've got a lot of ground to cover. I have made okay. a number of interesting discoveries, um, Commander. Commander, during the course of 16. our research, okay. we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, okay, Peter Van Dorn from the first game and Hal Mason from so uh, the Falling Skies series, right another great alien bashing series. To Love it. it in the future. I agree. That is an important okay, task, good. Commander. And supplies. Okay, we're gonna get a mission straight off, pretty much. Commander, All right, good. As the resistance continues to grow. We'll have a better chance of finding openings. Oh, Phil, Commander, but we're getting engineer. As okay, is, good. Um, not the best to type of mission to have, first of all. In this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Okay, so we need heavy hitters. We do need heavy hitters for this, so we'll take out. Take out the Grenadier. Take out the Psionics. The Ranger. Uh, and the Infantry Engineer. Now what we're so we'll get rid of Killer Croc. We need a Sniper. Um, he can fire twice, so it's worth having. Okay, I think I'll have to do it. Um, we'll give Floyd Lawson the flash grenade. We've got our psionic, our ranger, and infantry. Okay, so that'll have to do for now. So yes, thank you very, very much for joining me on that first mission. It was a good mission. Um, as I said, the hardest mission you can probably get on the uh, uh, in the game, certainly early. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it, and thank you very much. Uh, and I really do hope you'll join me for the next one. Um, we're going to do Operation Night Tomb. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I'll see you on the next episode. Good luck. Take care now. Goodbye.